All right, welcome back to another video. My name is Mark McGuire. Today we're going to be going over my minimal home gym. The bare necessities of what you need to get an effective workout. So let me turn this camera around and let's get into it. So starting over here, I have my Rogue high temp bumpers. I have 160 pounds worth. That's one, 245s, 225s, and 210s. The rubber so they're good for like all sorts of CrossFit exercises and stuff like that. Uh, good, good for the foundation. Uh, pretty safe and reliable, especially with the kids running around. Sometimes they'll stand on them and stuff like that. So good option for a home gym for sure. The only downfall is that they don't have anything to really grab. There's some rivets in there so you can kind of do some grip work. But um, as for like handles that you can grab they don't have that nor do they have different sizes it's all the same circumference so there's no smaller 25s and stuff like that which would be nice in some situations um, next to them we have the uh, handy dandy trusty rogue kettlebell this is 40 pounds um, which is a good weight for me I actually want to get some maybe a little bit lighter ones maybe two of the same weight so you can kind of do like uh, even type of workouts some uh, both arms at the same time I think that would be nice but nice powder coat on it um, little chips and dings but it's a kettlebell so you should be beating it up anyway if you're using it effectively <clears throat> um, right behind it I have my Titan 45 40 pound slam ball this thing it's got a nice little textured grip you pick it up slam it slam it down on the ground it's not the type of medicine ball that bounces back up you got to bend down and pick it up i do like it it's an effective workout i used to do it at the ufc gym i was going to it was a 30 pound one so you could do about like 10 reps and it feels good for me anyway i was thinking about getting a lighter one as well and one of those medicine balls so it kind of bounces back up right next to all this we have the <coughs> power blocks these are the sport 50s so it doesn't have like the two and a half little change plate in the handle and it is non-expandable so it can only go up to 50 pounds um, it's got this uh, nice like metal material good handle I like the uh, rubber handle especially for colder mornings um, but these things are very durable and I've gotten a lot of good use out of them if I could, maybe I would go with the expandable version just because I do wish I could uh, go a little bit heavier with some uh, certain exercises. Uh, and also, the there's like a rubber coating version of this. It's like the PowerBlock Pro Series. I think those have a nice appeal to them, and it's just not as uh, loud when you're clanging and banging. But no big deal. They work just fine. Um, what they rest on is just a Titan plyo box. I usually try and use this at least one time a week, but it's got like a 16 inch side, 12 inch side. I like the appeal to it, the nice wood finish, so pretty simple. You could probably make something like that yourself, but Titan Fitness makes a good one. Um, over here is my bench, the Rep uh, AB 3100. Um, decent bench uh, I like rep as a company as a whole uh, there's some things about this bench that I don't necessarily like I don't like this system like sometimes this thing I, I barely change it but uh, sometimes it will kind of like fall out of place uh, not very secure like a pop pin version I know they make which would be a lot safer it's got some sort of play to it a little wiggle um, I think because it's only like 60 pounds so they got some heavier duty ones I would probably recommend doing that and if you're gonna have one adjustable bench probably go with one that can do decline as well this can only go flat or incline I wish I had the decline option for sit-ups in the corner we got uh, a couple barbells one being an axle barbell, stubby axle bar from uh, Rogue. It's kind of basically just like a pipe, but it's a cheap alternative to an actual barbell. And um, it's just a uh, larger diameter, so you work on your grip strength a little bit more, which is nice. Uh, right next to it is the Rogue Ohio bar. This thing is obviously the pinnacle of barbells for the home gym community uh, a lot of CrossFit uses it. good whip um, 
there's a lot of stats about it but the thing does the job great warranty life lifetime warranty i'm pretty sure so if i could do it again i would probably just get a different powder coat and honestly i don't even know if i need something this this intense because i only have 160 pounds worth of weight right now and i don't do that heavy of lifting so but moving on from that we have my title heavy bag I like Title Boxing as a brand. I think it's a solid company. Uh, this this bag itself only cost a hundred pounds, but it's like this soft strike material, so it's not as uh, it's not like a heavy duty old school leather bag. It's got this nice material, so sometimes you can go bare knuckles, which is nice. Um, I also have these Title Boxing gel infused gloves to go with it. I'll wear those with these DMX wrist wraps. I got my Bose speaker for music. I also have Alexa out here for when I'm working out and using my phone to film on. Um, HG Rogue collars. These things are pretty sweet because they are compatible with my axle bar as well. So they're compatible with the um, with the Rogue Ohio bar and they also fit my axle bar which is nice. The sticky go tape is probably one of my favorite things. It's on my axle bar and uh, I was thinking about putting it in the middle of my Ohio bar um, just for like one handed deadlifts and stuff but this thing is like hockey tape. It's it's awesome. It's amazing. Get some. Uh, I got some Versa grips my wife got me uh, for when I'm doing like heavy deadlifts or something. Uh, she got me these as well, which are nice wrist wraps, especially when you're doing some kettlebell swings and stuff like that. It's It helps to protect the, uh, the wrists. These bands don't get used very often. Um, I'm just, I don't really care for, like, it's tough to find solid band work. I, I honestly maybe wish they were like the 12-inch version, the shorter version, so I could do like some lateral work and stuff, but... Right next to it is my jump rope. This is a Walmart jump rope. I've 10 bucks maybe I've had for a few years. I thought I wanted a speed rope. I actually went out and bought one like a UFC speed rope, but I don't like the speed rope. I like this style way more. The speed rope wasn't for me. Um, my wife's Peloton shoes. And this actually uh, is wall control, which is pretty cool. I like it. Keep stuff looking nice and organized. Nice appeal to it. Um, but yeah, so that's a good, good, good option for storage. I got to figure out somewhere to put the plates and stuff. Um, but my wife's little dumbbells over here, I use them too pretty often. I do a lot of light dumbbell work and my wife's Peloton, some miscellaneous stuff in the basket over here. My kid's heavy bag and some other gloves and stuff. A nice plant, a nice fan, and the newest addition, this refrigerator. We try and keep it stocked with some good drinks, which is nice to have right here. Um, so, yeah. But that's my garage gym. I think it's pretty minimal right now. I do want to add some things to it, starting with like maybe a wrestling mat or maybe even uh, some power tech lever gym equipment um, eventually. But for right now, I can get some great workouts out here. A lot of space to move around, obviously, which is nice on the horse stall mats. The one thing I've had for a while that I want to fix or upgrade is the lighting. These are like the Purina lights strip lights led that um are highly recommended online in the garage gym community and stuff like that but i as you can see like three of them are out at this point and i think i kind of like more natural looking yellow light if i could do that maybe set up something over here maybe i don't know some new lighting maybe but obviously i have the big garage door so that lets in all the natural light but that's my minimal garage gym. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Keep working hard. We'll see you next time.